I will prefer to, to to vote yes, you know, for that, like that, yeah. We will decide at once where they, uh, to close this page of of the history, you know, and you know, Belize is independent, Guatemala is independent, so I don't, I don't think there's a um, dispute uh, with us that live uh, near border, uh, so we go to study over there, you guys come to study over here, so the only, the only uh, misinformation we have is the one that the government give. What message do you have for Belizeans? as they prepare to go to the polls on March, on, on April 10th, 2019? Huh. The, the message I will give them is, uh, think about it, you know, it's, uh, but really put some head in it, think really, really hard in it, so, and, and uh, it's not, uh, uh, you know, it's going to be yes or no, but uh, for my personal opinion, so that will be not a problem against two countries that wanna, that are living among each other, you know. Sin embargo, yo en lo personal eh, eh, soy del criterio de que si ya Belice eh, eh, alcanzó su independencia hace algunos años y ahora pues hay algún eh, eh, diferendo que todavía consideran eh, solucionar, yo pienso que sería como la oportunidad como para poder eh, finalizar de, de una vez eh, toda esa, esa situación que se ha venido dando entre Guatemala y Belice. Yo considero que, que tan, los dos países deberían de, de tomar en cuenta eso y tomar la decisión, tanto Guatemala como Belice, de tomar la decisión de, de solucionar en definitiva la, esta situación que se ha venido dando desde hace muchos años.